hello everyone welcome to this video series on java so in this uh, video i am going to give you a demonstration of packages okay we will see how to uh, create a package and how to import the classes in a package so before going to the actual demo uh, like and share this video and also subscribe uh, to my channel for updates on latest videos so this is the example I am going to use in this demonstration. So I am going to create a folder called programs. Okay, which is available at the location C desktop. Okay, C drive desktop. Desktop folder. There is a program. There is another folder called programs. So this is the current working directory. Okay, so this is called current working directory so the actual directory is programs and the path to that directory is c desktop okay so this is the place where i am going to store all my java files so first i am going to create a dot java then b dot java and then c dot java so these are the actual class files which i am going to store in the package called my package so after creating these files, we will compile these files, which will create a dot class. This one will create b dot class, and this one will create c dot class. Okay. So all the class files will be placed in the package for my package. Okay. So first of all, let's start with creating this folder program so where is this folder available it is available or created at the location c desktop okay so let's do that so uh, here is the folder programs okay so let me delete this and create it again so new folder programs okay so i created a folder called programs now what i will do is i will create this file a dot java okay go to notepad now let's create a class public class a now before writing the program let me save it so save mm, where do i have to save this desktop programs folder okay now here i will give a dot java here you have to write uh, okay so here you have to select java hmm. java source file okay so there is no need to give a dot java here when you have java source file selected otherwise you have to give dot java and here you have to select all files okay so save okay so let's see go to the program and see programs folder and here is the java source file so you can see type is java okay now let's write the whole program so class a now i will keep this very simple i will write public void m1 so i am creating a method called m1 where i will simply print uh, class a method system dot out dot print lm class a method so that I can know this method is executing. Okay. So I created a class here which contains a method m1. Okay. So what is this method doing? It is printing the text class a method. Okay. So the file is already saved. Now what we will do is um, we will go to command prompt. right now cd desktop now the folder is programs right oh sorry i have 
have done a mistake before going to compile the program what you have to do is here you have to write package my package i forgot about this so you have to write this statement package my package right because we want to store all of, all the uh, java class files in the package my package right so how do you create this package by writing the statement package space the package name package name is my package okay now save now go to the command prompt desktop and the folder name is program okay now you can check whether the file is available here a dot java or not so here is the file a dot java okay clear now compilation java c a dot sorry dot java okay it is compiling right the program is compiled now let's open the folder and check what what happened so there is another file called class file created right okay so this is our java file and this is class file which contains byte code okay so let it be like that now let's duplicate this file save as now i am saving this file as b save now here i am changing the class name as b save okay so this is b.java i simply do i simply saved the file with another name and changed the class name b okay now here also you can write class b method now go to command prompt and simply write b.java okay do the same step again save as this time c save now change the class name and also you can change this class c method save okay come back to the command prompt and view java c c dot java okay now go to the programs folder and you can see there are total six files so you can sort on this type now these are the class files and these are the source code files okay so when are the class files created whenever you come whenever you compile the program your class file will be generated which contains byte code okay so byte code is always created by java compiler right okay now what you have to do is you have to create a package called my package my package so please be careful that you are not giving any spelling mistakes here my package so whatever you are giving here you have to create that folder that is what i have done i have created the folder my package now you select these three class files class files and you move this into package okay now these are the source files and my package contains class files okay just like this my package contains the class files and your programs folder contains source code files okay so programs has source code files and the my package folder contains class files right okay now it's time to write mm, this one the demo demo program so its name is package demo dot java okay now uh, let me create a new file so here public class package demo let's save this before writing the program so we have to save this in the folder programs so here it is package demo okay so java source file save okay right now we will write our main method public static 
ऑयड मैन ट्रिंग अर्थ ओके नाउ बिफोर राइटिंग एनीथिंग इन द मेन मेथड नाउ लेट्स सी हाउ टू इंपोर्ट द ए क्लास बी क्लास एंड सी क्लास सो यू विल राइट इंपोर्ट व्हाट इज आवर पैकेज आवर पैकेज इज माय पैकेज डॉट ए ओके similarly you can write two more lines and change them to b and c so i am importing three classes a b c which are available in the package my package okay so this is how you import or use a package okay now let's create an object for class a a obj1 equal to new a now write obj1 dot what is the method name we have created m1 okay that's all i have saved the class now let's go to this now you can view java c package demo dot java okay so the program compiled successfully because we already created the package my package if if you didn't create this your program will not compile you can check it if you want okay now run the program java package demo okay so we got the output class a method because we have created only object for class a it is printing only class a similarly if you want for class b and class c class b object 2 b so obj2 here c object 3 class c object 3 save it now if you make any changes you have to compile the program first and then run the program okay you got the output class a method class b method and class c method okay so this is how you create the package and use the packages so in the theory i told you that there are two ways in which you can store the packages one is the default package right so this is the default package okay so the default package location is c users admin desktop program so this is the default package okay so jvm will automatically search in this location that is the current working directory if there are any packages because the package is already available here there is no need to specify any other thing but if the package is stored at another location that is outside this then you have to do something else so for that let's see another example so this is what you have seen just now and this is another one now you see here uh so the source files are available in one location this is one location and the package is available in another location right so these are not same these are different so my package is stored my package is stored in the drive d drive and my java source files are available in the programs folder on desktop yes okay now let's do this i will show you how to do and what steps need to be taken so first of all this my package should be moved to d drive right so follow carefully mm, this is the package yes which contains a dot class b dot class and c dot class so copy i mean not copy cut cut the folder okay go to d drive and paste it here so your package is in d drive okay like this example your package is stored in d drive okay now let's see what happens when you try to compile the program avasi mm, package demo dot java so you are getting so many errors right it's saying package does not exist so your uh, compiler is not able to find the package now what you should do there are two ways so the first way is uh to 
specify the class path, how to set the class path, set class path. So what is class path? Class path is a environment variable which belongs to the operating system. So it will specify the location at which JVM or compiler has to search for classes equal to okay now what you should give here dot semicolon what else you should give here here you have to give the location to your package what is the location your package is available d, d drive yes copy okay so here is the here is the path dot semicolon d colon slash hit enter so your class path is set now. Now you try to compile the program. Okay, it compiled now. Now you can try to run the program. Okay, your program has run successfully. So this is first method by setting class path. Okay. So I am closing the command prompt. Now I want to show you the second way where in which you can specify the location to the package so again command prompt now go to the current working directory where is the current working directory desktop programs so here is the current working directory now what second way you can use class path option okay so java c space hyphen class path here you have to give dot semicolon d drive right which you have done previously for class path after that file name package demo dot java enter okay so the program has compiled successfully now while running also you can give java class path dot semicolon d drive package demo executed now you can also use another option called hyphen cp both are same you can use class path or cp okay enter now while running also you can give cp Okay, executed. So this is how uh, you can compile and run Java programs using packages which are available in different location other than current working directory. Okay, I hope you understood the concept of what is a package, how to create packages, okay, and how to uh, import classes from a package to your Java programs. So that's it. Thank you.